Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you. And today's video, um, you're probably not going to see me on the screen because I have something to show you. So a lot of times on my channel, I get questions about the different platforms I use and different equipment and products and all those things that I use and so when I started this channel I really wanted to always take you guys on the um, behind the scenes of not only me creating jewelry but also how I run my small handmade business so one of the top things that I love to use when it comes to my business is Shopify hey girl Welcome to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. If you've been a part of the Oh So Pretty Squad, I'm so glad that you're back. If you want to join the squad, all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and you are in. On this channel, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my handmade accessories business as well as give you helpful tips and helpful information for running a small handmade or product based business so don't forget to hit that like button hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit that notification bell let's create something oh so pretty so before I even get into some of the reasons why I love the platform I just want to let you guys know about these super popular brands that are using Shopify right now for their websites so you will see brands like Kylie Cosmetics Skims, um, KK Beauty was on there and obviously it's coming back. Sephora, Rebecca Minkoff, Victoria Beckham Beauty, La Sport Sac, Red Bull, PepsiCo, Whole Foods Market, Heinz, Lent, Anheuser Busch, um, Nescaf, which they said soon to relaunch, Fitbit uses it, Gymshark. Hasbro, Netflix, Penguin Books, Tesla, all of these huge brands use this platform. Is that not wild? Like, I never would have even imagined that if I hadn't, you know, been doing some research. And I kind of knew some of them use the platform, but some of them I was like, really? Is that true? But yes, you go to the website, you can clearly um, kind of see. And if you are a tech person, there's all types of ways you can see what type of platforms people are using to create their sites. Because I used to look all the time. If there was a site I liked, I'm like, oh, I love the way this site looks and feels. Let me see what they're using, what they're doing. And there's a site you can plug in the URL and it'll tell you if they're using WordPress, exactly what theme they're using. Um, if they're using Wix or Shopify or Squarespace, all those other platforms, it will tell you. So I used to do a lot of digging back in the day, um, but now I'm on Shopify and I love it. So let's get into the first thing. The first reason why you should be using Shopify is because it is incredibly easy to use. Shopify is designed to get you your professional online store up and running as soon as possible. Like legit, um, I do a workshop and I can pretty much get you up and running in about a day, day, two days max. Like I can give you all of the bones to kind of do and give you the insight and then you can run from there and you can really get it up in about a weekend and have your site up for running. So um, I was going to say this at the end, but it just fit in here naturally. If you're thinking about doing a Shopify website, I'm probably going to be doing my workshop again. Come soon. You can check the link in the description to find out more about that. So it's so easy to use. It looks professional and it is highly customizable. So whenever you go on to Shopify, you're going to be, you're going to go in and it's going to, tell you um, it gives you about five or six free things but they also offer so many other things that you can buy or choose um, there's a lot of different website markets that offer different Shopify themes so if you're not happy about what they have there for free you can always um, you know purchase other things uh, but if you are tech savvy just a little bit you can really easily figure out how to customize some of the free ones to work for you 
So I love that. And this Shopify website can work if you are already a, a well-established brand or if you're just, you know, just starting out and you're on your way to being super established. So the next thing that I love about Shopify, I'm going to walk over to my Facebook account because one of the perks about using Shopify is literally it does so much of the work for you. So whenever you set up your Shopify site, there is, you know, a portion, you know, in the setup where you can hook up your Facebook account your Instagram account and every time you add a product to your store it's gonna go to your shop on right here on Facebook so as you can see this is my Facebook page and if um, so typically whenever I add a new product let me see if I can show you guys so this one right here is a new product this is tagged these products are tagged in my store so if someone were to click on it they can view the products right there um, from here they can click on it and they can go to checkout. So that's one part. They don't even have to really leave the platform that they're on to make a purchase. So this is an actual product. So you can see right here, this product is tagged. Again, they can go right there to view the product and check out if it's something they desire. If you scroll down, you can also see that I have a shop here. Those previous were just posts on my page, but Facebook, you know, with the integration of Shopify, it allows me to have full shop right on Facebook. So people can shop my designs right here on Facebook. I also love it because it allows you to integrate with some of the best drop shipping sites. So as, as you all can see, I have some t-shirts, I have wall arts and bags and other things that I'm able to integrate on my Shopify site, which is also right here on my Facebook site. Um, so my customers can easily shop my products. The same thing on Instagram. I would show you guys Instagram, but unfortunately the shop only shows up on the mobile version, um, not the not this version of face, uh, Instagram because this is just the mobile version kind of shrink down. So it doesn't show the shop in this version. I'm not sure why, but it doesn't. But most people will not be on Instagram on their computer. They'll probably be on their phone. So it doesn't show it here, but it's also super integrated into my Instagram as well. Okay, so I love that you can also integrate a Facebook pixel into every page of your website. It makes it super easy. I know even as a designer, before I use Shopify and just kind of learn more, whenever people are like, oh, add a Facebook puzzle, pixel, I would kind of cringe because I'm like, I don't even know what to do. But with a couple clicks in Shopify, you can add your Facebook pixel to every page. And what that is going to allow you to do is kind of see where, what products and what things are driving to certain places. Um, it also is going to allow you to populate all of your Facebook, um, all of your products to your Facebook just easily like you don't have to go and put it on your facebook shop on your instagram shop on your shopify site once you put it on shopify you can click boom boom click it gives you some clicking options um which i can show you guys let me show you really quickly but whenever you do your products you can come here to your products and then um let's just click on this product right here and then it allows me to manage my sales channel. So you can have a host of different sales channels when you use Shopify. So you, um, I have my online store. You can do a point of sale. I have Facebook, Google, Inbox, Pinterest. Oh yeah, I forgot to even put that on my list. But you can all of my sh all of my things are also on Pinterest as well. Shop. That is, um, if you ever use Shop, it is an app that um, is Shop Pay, but it also has a bunch of different things like that. 
it allows people to break up their payments into four easy payments um, Walmart marketplace Apple business chat TikTok. there's so many different sales channels that you can choose so that's another thing like these are all the places my products can be without me like setting up stores on all of these different platforms you just click the sales channel you want to add your products to and boom they're there now some of these business some of these channels you do have to like set up the account with the companies so just know you will have to set up the account but you don't have to like set up each individual product so once it's clicked and your account is all set up then you can just click it and then it's there um and while we're at apps let's just go over here to the apps because with shopify like i said it's fully customizable so it allows you to add all different apps so you have a base system when you um, choose to go with Shopify the base for the lowest plan you can start your Shopify site for just $29 um, they also give you a 14 day free trial so if you're like it's something that you're thinking about and you want to try it out you can always try out the trial um, I'll have a link to this in the description if you're interested but um, with this you can there's so many different things you can add. So I love up here at the App Store. So I'm currently at the App Store, the Shopify App Store that has tons of different apps. I can go here and find out, okay, what is my goal? Do you want to find products to sell? Like I said, Shopify, you can find so many drop shipping companies, print on demand companies, and you can just migrate them with your own products and have a different, you know, more things on your site. Um, you have if you want to bring in customers they have different apps and things to run ads um, to help you with SEO as far as um, text and email that's the next thing I'm gonna show you when we're talking about apps because I love the SMS text and that it allows you to do um, sell more stuff so you can offer discounts show reviews sell on different sales channel which we kind of just talked about so just depending on what your goal what you're looking to do you can kind of narrow navigate this app store by what you're looking to do what I like to do every so often is just like go through here and browse through what they have so let's click on one if we say we want to find products to sell you can go here and you can find different things that you can integrate with your sale with your site so what I would do is if this is something that you're interested in just kind of go and look at different things that may you know you know you want to try it out everything that you want to do test it out I have used one of these before I test it out just to kind of see how long it would take for the shirt to get here um, it actually only took about two weeks um, I definitely feel like I can get into this a little bit more if there's something I'm interested into haven't delved, dived in it a whole lot but the option is here it also allows you to have different apps to bring in customers so if you're they have this QR code ninja they have SEO they you can integrate your email marketing so if you already use like MailChimp or ConvertKit or any of those other email systems you can easily integrate it with your Shopify but I love because Shopify comes with like a free email as well so I tend to just use that one but I'm going to tell you about one of the apps that I love so far the best right now and that is the SS, SM, SMS bump app and so this is a Yoke Point app and it allows you to do SMS campaigns it allows you to do email campaigns and it also allows you to do flows and automations it has templates um, and it allows you to list and segment your subscribers so it allows you to do so many things one of the things that I know that I love is the campaign planner so this kind of gives you all like the important dates that are coming up so it gives you ideas for what you can send to your customers and things of that nature and it does it with SMS and then it also email so if you want to be on top of your email sending and if you lack in that right now this is a great way to really stay on top of it and the best thing about this 
you can come here it tends to show you what's coming up for the month ahead right so the first of the month you can come here and say boom customize and schedule that customize and schedule customize and schedule then all of your emails and all of your text messages are ready for the month they're gonna go out when they need to go out that makes it so much easier that's less things that you have to worry about on your list so that's why I love the App Store okay the next thing I want to talk about is the payment platforms um, Wow it gives you so many options for payment so with Shopify you can add things like Klarna Afterpay PayPal Amazon pay like people have so many options to pay you like right like people can pay you fast quick in a hurry when it comes to Shopify in the payment um, when it comes to the payments so there's all different ways you can choose to decide to take your payments all right the next thing is it also allows you to recover um, people who leave so if you have trouble with people leaving your site without purchase which we call that in the e-commerce world abandoned cart there's a bunch of different things that you can set up so you can do abandoned cart with the SMS bump that I was just telling you about but then there's so many other abandoned cart email plans that you can or apps that you can add to your site so just decide like I use the SMS, SMS bump but you can see there's tons of different ways to get people back to your cart which makes it so much easier to do um, they say 60 to 7 per 60 to 70 percent of customers will abandon their cart on an online shop and it can be really frustrating right but if you had something that can give them just a little nudge or just like a little reminder of the products that they're leaving behind most times than not the customer either just forgot or just got busy or sidetracked but if they get a little text message or just like an email saying oh my gosh you forgot this and especially with my line of business because a lot of my stuff is one of a kind they will come back so I, in my little thing I'm like this is the only one like a lot of times so just make sure you grab it if you still really want it like don't miss out so with that being said um, those are some of the reasons why I love Shopify and I think everyone who has a small business should be using it because it is amazing Oh, one more thing um, that I love to do, I'm going to tell you before I go, is that um, it allows me to capture emails and also capture t um, telephone numbers because I've set up my tech squad. So when people come here to my page, they can sign up. And then so whenever I have a new promotion or new products or services, I can always um, send them just a text message. And I try to not spam. I don't send my people messages every day. I try to send, you know, a text every other week or something like that. It just really depends on when I have drops. But I really, you know, I'm respectful. I'm not spamming my people because I hate when stores do that to me. But it's a great way to just have direct connection to your potential, you know, clients or people who just love your stuff and want to continue to support your business. So, yeah, that's all for today. I hope this video was valuable. If you're looking to start a Shopify site or you're looking to um, take your business to the next level by getting on Shopify to sell your products or even your services, this is I love this platform and I think you'll really love it. And if you are looking to take my Shopify workshop, which I took off the website for now, but it'll be back, then um, make sure you check the description in the box and it'll, you know, take you to that page. All right. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.